Thanks for your interest in Chameleon. We're going to get you up and running in under five minutes. First off, you need to get to Chameleon. Go to the little yellow dog icon on your desktop. Now that's assuming that you have already gone to the volunteer coordinators and you have access to the desktop as well as the user ID and password. So let's assume you've done all of that and you've got the Chameleon homepage now. And we want to look up an animal. I want you to go to Windows and in the drop down go to Kennel. That'll give you a screen that looks like this. Now your cursor is going to be up here in Kennel Number, but you want to put it down here in Animal ID. So click in there. Then you're going to enter in the A number. You'll hit F12 to find the record. You'll know you found the record because these will be populated up here. If not, you may get a couple of options down here, in which case just double click on the one you're interested in and that'll pull up that animal's record. In this example, I've pulled up an A number for Claudia. If you see this little angry brown dog, that means that this animal, either dog or cat, has a bite on its record. So let's click on that and see what's going on. That'll bring up a window that looks like this, and that's the bite record. To the extent that we have any information on that bite, you'll find it down here in the memos section. So the next icon you'll see is the medical icon. And if you click on that, you're going to get a window that looks like this, and it will have all of the different treatment that that particular dog or cat has had. And you can find out more details about that treatment, for example, Claudia's surgery, by just double-clicking and reading the notes down here in description. And if you want to see the notes on Claudia, you press on notes, and it'll bring up the various notes that are available, including playgroup observations, and behavior observations. Now let's say you have a customer that's interested in a particular animal, for example Claudia. When you have her pulled up, you can go into reports and run a report. Now that's going to give you a very long drop-down menu and you can scroll, scroll, scroll down until you see the word paperwork. Click on that and say OK. And that's going to print out the paperwork that is available for the public for Claudia, including behavior information and a medical history. What I generally do with a customer that's interested, I, I run this report and I hand it to them, and that way they can read up on the animal ahead of time. Now sometimes you'll get a customer that is interested in finding a particular breed. You can do that. From this kennel window, before you enter any A numbers, Go down here to where it says Primary Breed, put your cursor in there, and click F4. That'll give you a drop-down menu with lots of breeds. You can scroll through all of that, and in this example, let's say I want to find every German Shepherd that's in the shelter as of this day. Click on that, say OK, and then come over here and click Kennel to do the search. That will populate every German Shepherd that's currently in the shelter. It'll give you the kennel number, the A number, and a bit of a description about that particular animal. So in this case, if the customer is interested in a German Shepherd looking dog, I'll write down which kennels they can look at and give it to them and they can get started there. Now sometimes you may be sitting in the volunteer office and you have forgotten the A number for a particular animal, but you remember where it was. You can find that A number without having to run out there and look for it. Go to the main chameleon window and under procedures, go to the drop down and click on visual kennel. And that'll bring up a schematic of the entire facility. Now there's 20 pages in this. Page one has the small dogs and the cats. And you can go down to page two and that'll bring up all of the different dog kennels, including the truck port and any overflow. And this whole thing is color-coded. The light colors mean that that kennel is empty. The little bit darker color means there's one animal in that kennel. And the real dark colors mean that it has two or more in that particular kennel. So you can come up here and click the kennel that you know you saw it in, and it'll tell you who's in there right now. And that's it. You are now a Chameleon Power user. And thank you so much for volunteering at the Austin Animal Center.